we can do something kung paano natin lilinisin yung mga dirt at saka yung mga lumot. I am happy to share that finally we now have a pressure washer. Welcome back to another vlog. For those of you who are new here, I am Malay. I create videos about toddler activities at home, product reviews, lifestyle, and this 2022, let's create a happy and beautiful home together. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss my videos which I upload every Thursday. But before anything else, let's do the shout out. have a tropical climate here in the Philippines. So basically, pag may open space, na uulanan, na iinitan, and eventually, it will be covered with moss. Apart from that, if you have plants and you water it, kung saan yung sila dinidiligan, dirt will build up in there. It's the same, magkakalumot din siya and it will be very difficult to take off the dirt no matter how you brush it. May iba natatanggal, pero syempre, may iba din and mas marami yung natitira. You cannot entirely take it off. And that's exactly what's happening here in the house. It usually takes us half a day to clean and brush, but still, di pa rin talaga lahat natatanggal. Yung dating light gray na flooring outside, nagiging dark gray na siya or almost black because of that. We cannot do anything about the weather, but for sure, we can do something kung paano natin lilinisin yung mga dirt at saka yung mga lumot slowly nagbi-build up na dun sa flooring or dun sa wall. And that's exactly what this video is all about. I am happy to share that finally we now have a pressure washer and our episode for today would be a first impression or a product review of the item. We've been wanting to buy a pressure washer even before pa. At that time kasi, we didn't feel that we really need it that much until recently. Or maybe because at that time, newly repainted pa yung house at saka bago pa yung flooring. So, talagang malinis pa siya din So, without further ado, let's dive into the video and see how this pressure washer do its job by cleaning the wall, the flooring, the car, and the outdoor tables and chairs. This is a belt type pressure washer. Yung brand niya is Matsumoto. It's a Japanese brand. And compared to the portable one, this is heavier and pang heavy duty talaga siya with 1.5 horsepower. Yung cost ng unit as a set usually ranges from 5,500 to 10,000 pesos. Depende kung saan mo bibilhin at kung anong brand ang bibilhin mo. Yung nasa 5,500 kasi, yung quality nun ay parang substandard. So if you really want na maganda yung quality, you're gonna be paying a higher price. We bought this in a local hardware store here in CDO. Papakita ko muna sa inyo yung mga old portable washer namin. Madali lang siyang masira. Well, may iba medyo mahal, may iba din na mura lang. Kaso, di siya talaga nagtatagal. Sabi nga nila, if you buy cheap, you pay twice. Kasi, since madali lang siyang masira, so bibili ka na naman ulit. Pressure washer is composed of six main parts. The inlet. This is where you put the hose and put the other end sa source ng water mo. Next is the motor. Ito yung nagpapatakbo talaga ng washer. So, it is really advisable to buy a quality one. Next comes the pump. This jet off the water against the surface. Pwede mo siyang bilhin separately. Pwede din na as set na. A little trivia here. If masira yung pump, it is repairable. So, if I were you, again, invest more sa motor ng washer. Kasi, ito daw yung mas madaling masunog. Anyway, nare-repair naman if masira yung pump. Next is the pressure hose the gun, and the nozzle. May mga subparts pa dito like the pressure gauge, pressure knob, kung saan nakalagay yung piston na nakakover pa talaga. But I will not dive into it in detail kasi masyado na siyang technical for me and limited lang yung alam ko sa mga ganyan. Basta pag ready na siya gamitin, then go na tayo. Bumili na din pala kami ng extra gasket and a smaller nozzle because I think it's easier to wash the car this way kasi mas madali mo siyang na-adjust. 
And now, let's put the bigger hose sa inlet o sa main source while the other end, itong may strainer, let's put it sa balde or in our case, a plastic barrel. Tapos, kabit natin itong pressurized hose. Um, as you can see here, hindi mo ma-press tong makapal talaga siya at matigas uh, because ang dadaan dito yung pressurized water so it really can handle the pressure at saka um, di siya madali mapunit. Tapos ito yung sa backflow, lagay natin yung end nito, same doon sa source of water natin. Kasi yung mga dinagamit na water, babalik doon sa source mo. And then let's connect the nozzle. If you're feeling extra, you can also use a coupler kit. Para mas madali siyang palitan. I guess you'll get the hang of it naman pag palagi mo na siyang ginagamit. And now, it's time to try this. Worth it kaya ito or just a waste of money? We'll see. Pag palagi mo na siyang ginagamit, try to always check the screws and knobs kasi nagbabibrate siya pag ginagamit natin. Siyempre, kasi nakaandar yung motor. So, it might loosen the screws. Downside of this uh, belt type pressure washer is that it's quite heavy and di, di mo siya ganun kadali na mabit bit in any part of the house. You need someone's help for that. But we can do something about it naman. So I just told Gyro na to put yung parang lalagyan ng pressure washer tapos lagyan siya ng mga gulong sa ilalim. So it would be easier to bring it with us. Uh, every time may lilinisin kami in any part of the house. And also, that way, hindi na namin kailangan na palagi siyang tawagin or kailangan yung tulong niya every time we need to use the pressure washer. Next is, ang dami niyang nagagamit na tubig but it's a good side as well because that means malakas talaga yung pressure niya. Pag naglilinis tayo gamit yung pressure washer, um, di lang yung pressure ang dapat na sa isip natin. Uh, we should also be mindful of the gallons per minute na ginagamit natin kung gaano karaming tubig ang sinisipsip ng pressure washer na yun. So, you've seen what it can do. I am satisfied with the result. Feeling ko naman this purchase is good and sulit siya sa bulsa. But we'll see about it. I will update you on that. We want to try this video sa seating but we have to do more research on that first kasi sabi nila it's not a good idea to use the tap water na ginagamit natin. There should be a combination of mixture, parang a little bit of bleach, etc. Para di namutin yung ceiling that will eventually destroy the material. So there it goes. I hope you learned from today's video. And if you like it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Pwede nyo ring screenshot uh, while watching this video. Post it on your Instagram or Facebook stories. Don't forget to tag me. You might be given a shout out in my next video. Also, if there are topics na gusto nyong gawan ko ng content, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. 
Once again, this is Melai. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye! I don't want